created by fake news, the need to resolve it is discussed in week 5. Remember, conflicts can be resolved in a non-violent way. Welcome to week 6 of quarter 4. Filipinos linkage to their cultural identity. For the most essential learning competency, discover literature as a tool to assert one's unique identity and to better understand other people. Day 1 Gary Paulson once said, You can take the man out of the woods, but you cannot take the woods out of the man. Truly, a person's cultural identity is deeply embedded in his mind, heart, and soul, even though at times, one becomes far away from home. This week's lessons explore the idea of asserting one's unique identity and better understanding of the people around him or her through the logging of one senses through the stimuli of homebound material cultures, particularly food, while being away from the country as one tries to blend into the global crowd. Before delving deeper through the essay of Carmen Guerrero Nakpil, titled Worst Hepatitis, here are some quotes that best define being a Filipino. Are you familiar with this? Do you know how sisig is made? Nothing goes to waste in Filipino food. In the culinary capital of Pampanga, they turn the pork, chicks, head, and liver into this sizzling dish with a crunchy and chewy texture. Credit goes to Adin Cuisine, who invested this dish at a humble stall along the train railways in Angeles City, Pampanga. How about this? That's right, this is a very good combination or it's very good to taste or to eat tapsilong, right? Filipinos are huge rice eaters and breakfast is no exception. A tapsilong consists of thin slices of dried marinated beef served with fried egg and garlic rice. While it is breakfast fare, it's also a quick satisfying meal you can eat anytime and available in most places. Are you fine eaters of vegetables and meat? So this suits you much. This too of oxtail has the most delicious sauce made from brown toasted rice and crushed peanuts. Banana blossom, eggplants, and string beans add more interesting textures making it a complete meal on its own. It's eaten with steamed rice and babuong, for sure taste. Have you ever heard about pancit habhat? Have you ever tasted it? Trust Filipino ingenuity to adapt noodles to their lifestyle. In the Bancasan, pancit habhat is served on a banana leaf and slurp, garnished with carrots, chayote, and a few pieces of meat. This cheap noodle dish is most often eaten by students and jeepney drivers on the go. The Filipino culture has been constantly changing throughout history, gaining influence from various nations who colonized our country and those nearby and inevitably has evolved. Filipino food today has been shaped by many unique and affluent cultures, thus making the Philippines a mixture of different culture in one place. Here are examples of such delicacies. Adobo. So that's the most favorite recipe of Filipino food. No list of Filipino food would 
be complete without a dog. A ubiquitous dish in every household in the Philippines. It's Mexicans in origin. But Filipinos found that cooking milk, often chicken and pork, and vinegar, salt, garlic, pepper, soy sauce, and other spices was a practical way to preserve it without refrigeration. This cooking style can be applied to different meats or even seafood. After a sumptuous meal, Filipino love to serve or love to eat desserts. And one of those is dacha. Originally, it was brought over to the Philippines during the Spanish colonization. This is a popular dessert among locals. An egg and milk-based custard topped off with glistening caramelized sugar. Filipinos also love outdoor picnics. And the star of the meal is, of course, barbecue. Unlike its American counterpart, barbecue in the Philippines is meat, usually marinated pork or chicken, is skewered and stick and grilled over charcoal. While marinades may differ depending on the chef, it usually consists of lemon lime soda, soy sauce, banana ketchup, and calamansi. The same marinade is also used to baste the meat as they are cooking. Many of us associated foods with good memories and it ties us to our panelists, holding a special and personal value for us. It is passed down from generation to generation. It also operates us in expression and a way of preserving cultural identity. Day 2 For your learning task 1, Match its vocabulary word to its definition to help you better understand the selection that you are about to read. Write only the letter of your answer. So you're going to choose from the choices letter A to E. So for one, we have denationalized. Two, we have bastion. Three, we have palace. Four, crops. And five, the buckles. Again, you're just going to write only the letter of your answer. Day 3 Learning Task 2 You're going to read Words de Patis by Carmen Guerrero Nacpil. As you read the selection, Stop when you see a dish illustration and answer the question. The title of the selection is Where's the Patis by Carmen Guerrero Nacpil. A Filipino may denationalize himself but not his stomach. He may travel over the seven seas, the five continents, the two hemispheres, and lose the savor of home, forget his identity, and believe himself a citizen of the world. But he remains gastronomically at least always a Filipino. For, if in no other way, the Filipino loves his country with his stomach. Trouble has become the great Filipino dream, in the same way that an American dreams of becoming a millionaire or an English boy dreams of going to one of the great universities, the Filipino dreams of going abroad. His most constant vision is that of himself as a tourist. So you need to stop and you're going to answer the question on the dish. What is the great Filipino dream? And after answering that question, we will now continue. To visit Hong Kong, Tokyo, and other cities of Asia, for a chance or to catch a glimpse of Rome, Paris, or London, or to go to America, even for only a week in a fly spec hotel in California is the sum of all delights. Yet, having left Manila International Airport in a pink cloud of despedidas and some pagita garlands and pabili, the dream turns into a nightmare very quickly. But why? Because the first bastion of the Filipino spirit is the palace. And in all the palaces and flesh pots and skyscrapers of that magic world called abroad, there is no patis to be hot. Next question in the dish. Which international cities do Filipinos want to visit the most? 
again, answer that question. And we will continue. Consider the Pinoy abroad. He has discarded the Barong Tagalog or Polo for a dark, sleek western suit. He takes to the habiliments from Hong Kong, Brooks Brothers, or Sable Row with the greatest of ease. He has also shared the casual informality of manner that is characteristically Filipino. He gives himself the airs of a cosmopolite to the credit card board. He is extravagantly courteous, especially in a borrowed language, and has taken to hand kissing and to plenty of American demise. Again, we need to stop and you need to answer the question in a dish. How can you describe the Pinoy being in a foreign country? Now, let's continue. He hardly misses the heat, the native accents of Tagalog or Ilongo or the company of his brown-skinned, cheerful compatriots. He takes like luck to water, to the skyscrapers, the temperate climbing, the strange landscape, and the fabled refinements of another world. How nice, after all, to be away from good old RP for a change. But as he sits down to the meal, no matter how some choose, his heart sinks. His stomach juices, he discovers are much less neither as a pahap nor the pulabo. Tornadoes is meat done in a barbarian way. Thick and barely cooked with red juices, still oozing out. The safest choice is a steak. If the Pinoy can get it well then enough and sliced thinly enough, it might remind him of Tapa. If the waiter only knew enough about Philippine cuisine, he might suggest Benson, which is really something like Tapang Usa, or Stargots, which the stylish poor and Philippine bitches know as snail, or even frog's legs, which are Ipampango Delight. Next, so again, answer this question. Do you think the Pinoy enjoys eating food from the other countries? Why do you think so? There. And answer this question before we continue. Okay, let's continue. But this is the crux of the problem. Where is the rice? A silver tray offers varieties of bread, slices of crusty French bread, soft yellow rolls, rye bread, pressed and studded with sesame seeds. There are also potatoes in every conceivable manner, fried, mashed, boiled, buttered, but no rice. The Pinoy learns that rice is considered a vegetable in Europe and America. The stuff of life, a vegetable. And then again, answer this question in a dish. Why do you think Filipino love to eat rice? Where's the patis? And when it comes to a special order, which takes at least half an hour, the greens are large, oval, and foreign-looking, and what's more, yellow with butter. And oh, horrors! One must shove it with a fork or pile it with one knife on the back of another fork. After a few days of this debacles, the Pinoy sick with longing decides to comb the strange city for a Chinese restaurant, the closest thing to the beloved gastronomic country. There, in the company of other Asian exiles, he will put his nose finally in a bowl of rice and find it more fragrant than an English rose garden, more exciting than a castle on the Rhine, and more delicious than pink champagne. You need to answer the question why do you think the Pinoy will choose to eat with his kababayan rather than in an expensive restaurant? To go with the rice, there is no shopa, not so rich as at Salazar, pancit guisado reeking with garlic, but never so good as any that can be had on the sidewalks of Quiapo. Fried gumpia with the incorrect sauce and even mummy, but nothing like the downtown one ton. Better than a Chinese restaurant is the kitchen of a kababayan. When in a foreign city, a Pinoy searches every busy sidewalk, 
theater, restaurant for the well-remembered golden pictures of a fellow Pinoy. But make no mistake. And next question, do you think food can be a way to settle differences among people? Why? Why not? Day 4. And for your assessments, you're going to answer the following question on your paper. Generally, Filipinos dream of going abroad as a A. Businessman, B. Tourist, C. Worker. Two, the Pinoy sick with longing decides to comb the strange city for a Chinese restaurant. The word comb in this sentence means A. Untangle B. Smooth out C. Search carefully Number 3. Why is the kitchen of a Kababayan better than a Chinese restaurant? A. The place is spacious and has good ambience B. The food they cook are reminiscent of their home country. C. The restaurant offers different varieties of noodles and soup. 4. What character trait of Filipinos allows them to easily engage and practice another culture's customs? A. Adaptability B. Creativity and C. Hospitality Number 5. What is the theme of the selection? A. A Filipino would satisfy their palate wherever he goes. B. A Filipino values the friendship from other Filipinos he meets in a foreign land. C. A Filipino's identity and his longingness for Filipino culture will remain with him in all his ways. And for our sources, we have... Department of Education English 7 Learner's Materials, Philippines FET Printing Corporation 2017, National Geographic Society, Cultural Identity, Access June 5, 2021. And in this link gives you the cultural identity. We also have Pineda Maida Candice Lopez Kimpoan. And for CNN, we have 50 dishes that define the Philippines. CNN last modified May 25, 2016 with a given link. Where's the Batis? KWF.gov.ph access June 5, 2021 with a given link. We have teaching conflict resolution skills in 6 easy steps. Social emotional workshop last modified February 28, 2020. And we have this link about teaching conflict resolution skills. And we have Wikimedia Commons, Pray Tax Pyramid 2006. And Department of Education, English, Grade 7 Learner's Material, Philippines FTP Printing Corporation 2017. We bought for a learner's packet or link. Congratulations! You have successfully go to week 6 of quarter 4. Again, we are going to follow the submission procedure we did in the last three quarters. Just make sure to complete all the tasks. You may contact your English subject teachers for any clarifications or follow-ups. And lastly, don't forget to like our video and hit subscribe to be updated for new videos. You can also share this video so that others can also watch and learn. Please stay tuned for quarter 4, week 7, coming up very soon. Just relax and take your time. Bye! See you in our next session. Happy learning!